This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Netflix. Go to netflix.com slash tyt for your free trial membership. All right, you all know about the ridiculous uh, pastor in Florida. His name is Terry Jones, and he's the one that wanted to burn the Quran. Initially got talked out of it uh, during the 9-11 anniversary, if you will. And uh, people, including the Defense Secretary and General Petraeus, said don't do it. And he decided at the time that he would back down and not do it. Well, uh, it turns out he uh, recently did finally burn the Quran. He says that he wasn't going back on his word because this time they had a trial. Okay, this is one of the goofiest and dumbest guys in the country. Uh, he held a trial for the Quran uh, in, on, quote, International Judge the Quran Day. He thought that this was a fairer way of addressing the issue. So he had a, a jury of his peers, people that are in his church or were volunteers, uh, actually uh, decide the case. He had a, a person who converted from Islam to Christianity act as the prosecution, and they had an imam from Dallas as a defense attorney. And shockingly enough, the people in Terry Jones' ridiculous, insane church decided that the Quran was guilty after the trial. Who could have seen that coming? Uh, but it gets goofier. So they had uh, sentencing uh, as to how the Quran should be destroyed, and it was between uh, burning, shredding, drowning, and facing a firing squad. Now, which of those is more ridiculous? It's hard to fathom, right? Drowning, you're going to drown the Quran. Well, it turns out, again, this very neutral jury decided that uh, burning the Quran would be the way to go. They soaked it in kerosene for over an hour before they did. See, they put a lot of prep into this. Now, Terry Jones himself didn't do it. That's awfully convenient. So he could later say, I didn't burn the Quran. You know why he says he didn't do it? Because he was the judge, so he had to be impartial. <laughs> what a joke loser this guy is. Now, the reason people warned him about this is because they were concerned that if he did this, that there would be consequences in places like Afghanistan where our troops are and where a lot of United Nations workers are and, you, uh, and United States uh, workers are. And of course, there were reper repercussions and there were serious protests and then riots and then people killed in Afghanistan. In fact, there was been over 20 people killed in Afghanistan. Uh, in uh, one of the cities, let me tell you exactly which one it was, uh, Mazar-e-Sharif, Mazar uh, protesters got uh, angry and violent and raided a compound, a United Nations compound, killing 11 people, including seven foreign employees. Now, point one is Terry Jones is clown of the earth. We told him not to do this. It was a terrible idea and that it might cost lives, and that's exactly what happened. Point number two, he is not ultimately responsible. The people who committed those murders and that violence are ultimately responsible. It's not even close. Terry Jones is an idiot. These pe other people are murderers, okay? Those are totally different ball game, okay? So to me, I I'm a hundred times, a thousand times more upset by the actions in Afghanistan than I am by the actions of Terry Jones. Look, people will say, oh, he instigated it. No, look, it's not an excuse. It's not even close to an excuse. What kind of unbelievably barbaric people kill other human beings because somebody offended them. Somebody did something to a book. <laughs> Look, I, I, I'm agnostic, right? So uh, I believe in biology. I believe in science. If you burned a biology book, you're a moron. I don't give a damn. You're stupid and I might point it out, but I'm not going to commit violence against somebody, somebody that agrees with you or doesn't agree with you that or doesn't have anything to do with you because I was so offended that you burned a science book. That makes no sense whatsoever. Uh, this is the problem with fundamentalist religion. And it's so sad and weak that if you dare to challenge their ideas a little bit, now this was a terrible, stupid challenge. But it doesn't matter. They don't really distinguish between stupid challenges and smart challenges. If you challenge their ideas at all, they get so angry that they kill people. And I'm not just putting it on Muslims. Look, this has happened throughout history in all the different religions. How about the Inquisition, where they killed how many people because they didn't say that they would agree to the Bible, right? It's all of the fundamentalist religions. And in this case, it definitely is Islam. I don't want to miss words about that. And radical fundamentalist Islam in Afghanistan, killing 20 people because they have, because someone else offended you. And their main argument is the United States of America should have taken action against Terry Jones. And they should have prevented him. They should not have allowed him. 
Well, look, it's a sad day for you, but we live in a free country. We don't prevent Terry Jones. We don't silence him. We allow him his opinion, no matter how crazy it is, okay, or how silly it is. It's not our job. You know why? We live in a free country. You don't like that? That's a sad day for you. We're not going to stop Terry. No, that's abs what are we supposed to do, arrest them? No, we have freedom of speech here. It, and you can say things that are brilliant or you can say things that are stupid. That's part of freedom of speech. You don't like freedom because you want your religion to dominate and, this, and your barbaric way of doing that is killing people who disagree with you. Or again, I have to emphasize, killing random people that didn't have anything to do with Terry Jones and some of them, a lot of them, didn't have anything to do with the United States of America. I can't emphasize how stupid that is. So yes, Terry Jones is guilty of being an idiot. And by the way, now he says the next thing he's going to do is do Judge uh, Prophet Muhammad Day. Come on, man. You, he, after he saw all the killings, how many people's lives are you going to put in danger? Look, I'm for your right to speak, as you can see. Can you please use a little discretion in not doing it this way? You see what it's costing. And it's soon going to cost probably more of our troops' lives, too stupid but the guys who did the murders are a million times yeah i went from a hundred to a thousand to now to a million a million times more guilty and i have no sympathy for them whatsoever get a load of netflix they deliver the movie to your house no late charges free shipping you can watch thousands of movies or tv shows straight on your pc or on your television through a gaming console netflix.com slash tyt free trial membership you get netflix all over you